Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing okay. So this little bauble here is a practice run of the first time I have done a snow globe using this. So I'm gonna show you now how I have put this together and I will also be letting you in on a secret on what I used because I didn't just use water. So let's go and hopefully you like it. Okay, so anyone who follows me on Instagram, this was one of my Instagram stories. This is showing you what I've done. So I have filled this, um, not just water, as you may have noticed. I have used, um, I think it's glycerol, um, which then slows down the water movement and it allows it to move slowly. So I, that's what I've used. I will link it in the description and which ones I've, I've done. Now, I didn't show you the process of me filling it and clearing it, but I have cl cling filmed at the top and I've placed it inside this school mould and I've used Let's Resin to be able to fill that up. So at the moment, you can see that it is moving in there and I'm just using the Let's Resin A and B. I am running out of stock, so until I'm able to sell some of my work, there's going to be very little resin um crafts in the future on here until i've got myself another batch of resin and also jasmine i i am running low on those so please stay like and subscribed to my channel um they will return it's just that um i'm working through my inventory of art work um art stock that i've got because i just do loads of stuff um and i like to keep myself busy so this is me just pouring the resin down at the sides of the bauble that i've used and just making sure that i've got it all evenly around it and that, that the, the actual bauble is not touching the silicon mold so I've used elastic band and as you can see I'm using a lollipop stick which then holds it in place while the resin is curing. So it was a bit of a challenge because I did return back to this about 10 minutes after I poured it just to keep an eye on it and the ball had slightly turned um, and I didn't want it. I needed that top part of that ball to be facing upwards for the next process of um, the completion. So yeah, it was a bit of a challenge to keep it m not moving, um, but then I didn't want to move it too much while it was curing in case um, I end up with creases or other bubbles. So I'm using mica powder. Um, so this mica powder is again old stock. As I've mentioned, um, I don't buy anything new unless I really need it. Um, I have a lot of inks, I've got a lot of paints, I've got a lot of stock that I do need to come down and actually just reduce the amount of storage that I've got in my actual room um, because literally our rooms this is the same as it's our living space as well so I have to kind of like start reducing the amount of stuff that I've got um, so stay with me um, as mentioned um, there will be some painting um, tutorials as well and some um, doodles and things um in time lapse lapses and i will return with the resin and jasmineite and there is also concrete as well so yeah again just mixing um the mica powders up giving it a bit of change of color like a rainbow kind of effect um i wanted it to be purple as well as gold because of what i'd placed inside that that bauble um, with the glycerin and water. So I needed it to really blend through. I didn't want to have a contrast or a bang of colors that didn't work or flow. So inside the actual bauble, there was um, little white crystals, a bit of glitter, a bit of lilac, pink, and also a bit of gold and copper. So it was a mixture of all colours just to see how they could blend. Now this final layer, I needed it to be darker because obviously you've got that bobble um, for the bauble there, which is sealed the, the water in and the, and the glycerol in. Um, I needed it to be darker um, so you couldn't physically see it. So I went for the browns bronze. I absolutely love this colour. Again, I will link 
where I got these in the description. I just bought them from Amazon alongside my white concrete when I got that. Um, but this is a beautiful, it reminds me of like a coffee colour. Um, so that will be amazing for any coasters that you are doing or somebody that you know who loves coffee and you can proper mix it up if you are crafting and, and just making them a little something. Christmas is around the corner. So instead of actually going out and buying something that's, you know, easy and quick, you could probably um, make something or know of somebody that does this and just give it that little bit more of a personal touch possibly. Um, and again, these schools um, that I do, um, they would be available. Um, I only do one of each really um, and it, they're all unique in their own way but I had to do a, a little extra um, top up of this I did run out quite low and then topped it up um, but the colour was amazing and the way that it worked with the mica powder and the, and the way that it set and the curing process was oh it was amazing I absolutely love this colour and I'm definitely going to be using this colour in the future again um, again this is just a quick picture of it in the curing process you can see some of the other colours that I used like the pinks and the and, and the iridescent colours popping through them um, and yeah this is on D mould I am super super excited about this because this is the third school globe that I have done but this is the one with the big ball ball and it, oh my god it actually fills the whole of the skull you don't know it's an actual ball ball in there but it is literally the effect that i have been looking for for absolutely ages it is stunning i absolutely love it and definitely glycerol and water put it into a cup and pour it to make it the right consistency but thank you for watching and yeah thank you and please remember to like and subscribe bye bye